Hello, today we're working on resistors and we will be looking at how to change brightness of an LED using a graphite using graphite which is basically your pencil and um, it's part it's also a resistor so basically what we're just looking at is a resistor is just anything that um, resists the flow of current and so I hope you're excited that we will be covering this it's a very interesting thing and easy to learn and so get your things ready let's get started so hello welcome to tech dicted today we're discussing the resistor and we will also be doing a little bit of a tutorial or rather a project whereby we dim and we increase brightness on an LED so for this case uh, we have several types of resistors there is the wire wound which i was not able to find but basically in that sense uh, you just wind a wire on, uh, on a ceramic surface and coat it that is how it's made then there are these types okay carbon and there is the carbon film and the metal oxide okay so then there is also yeah this is the same as this just that it's smaller yeah so basically resistance is the refusal or rather resistance to flow of current so when a material resists the reduces or resists the flow of current then it's a resistor uh, and remember we've used the word material so this is a wire a copper wire this is used for conducting so that means its resistance is very low but when it, i don't have the nichrome which is used in the wire wound resistors and that is a, a wire where the resistance is very high. Also, um, because I did not have a nichrome wire, which will demonstrate high resistance in a material, I decided to take this. So I just took a pencil. So graphite is also a good resistor. And these are almost the same, well, almost the same length, right? But you will notice that this has a very high resistance compared to this wire because of the type of material. So here's my multimeter. When I measure the resistance of this wire, I get 0 0.3. However, when I measure the resistance of this, I get six uh, around okay it's really playing but it's around 7.5 so whenever you're told uh, resistance is equal to resistivity times the length over the area then that means this okay so whenever your resistivity is um, the resistance of the material so for in, for the, for instance this has a low resistance than the graphite okay and then the length the longer the material the higher the resistance so i had this in the first place so since i don't have a longer this we'll just use this this had a resistance of around let's check again This short one had a resistance of around 0 0.4 so here it is around 0 0.4 however this is longer so it will not increase by much since it's a conductive wire but it will increase hmm, 0 0.5 Okay, so graphite will be a better example to explain this. So I'll just sharpen one of my pencils as this says, but I'll just do it. This is a very long pencil. Yeah, 
so I have both sides sharpened and so when I measure the resistance wow it's really spiked the resistance is 31 okay so the longer since it's the same exact material and it's the same pencil I wish I had shown you this earlier but they have very different resistance resistances due to the length so I think I had mentioned that we will be creating a dimmer let's say like something like a light uh, an LED whereby we will be dimming and increasing its brightness this is what we will be using so let's say this will be the this will be connected to a 3 volts and this to ground or zero and then when you move across this the lights will dim and increase in brightness the led that is yeah so by the fact that we will be doing that then this will be a potentiometer in that case so a varied resistance is a potentiometer and since i do not have a potentiometer right now i thought well why not make our own yeah so this will be serving as our potentiometer connected to a source and then we have a wiper okay the, the thing that moves in a potentiometer from one side to the other to increase and decrease the values of the resistance that's a wiper yeah so i think we can get started on that so I created a schematic which we will be using for this tutorial. I hope you can see it. Yeah, so first let me start with the LED. As you can see, the LED always has two terminals. The longer leg, let me even if I have a straighter one, this is straighter, so that you can see the longer leg and the shorter one, okay? The longer leg and the short leg. The long leg is always the positive and the short leg is the negative I always have this thing whereby i say uh, when you do plus plus okay so this is a plus right when you join both it becomes longer and the negative remains as it is so whenever i have a longer a longer length and a shorter one then i always take most probably the shorter one will be negative and the longer one will be positive if you find anything that's different from that please tell me but mostly it's always so so this is longer so it's positive shorter negative okay so the positive is the one that's connected to the resistor and to the three volts okay so in this case i am using to provide power and also for coding purposes i used the arduino Please get one of these things, everything here, and try it by yourself, then share it with me. So, I place, I place this. Let me look for some place that opens up nicely. Yeah. So, I place it there. Okay. We have our LED. And then, let me get wires that I'll be using. And for wires, so let me use this. And this, okay. So we said, okay, so in a breadboard, all this. Okay, we can see this is the same. So whenever I connect something here and here, then they're connected in series. So that means when I connect this here, then these two are connected in series. Okay. I don't know if it's very visible, but I have connected them on the same place. And then, as I said earlier, this short leg goes to the source and our source is three volts from this so this will go to i used pins 
let me check okay i used pin 13 and 3 so for this case i used pin 3 then for the, for the potentiometer i used pin 13 so go to pin 3 0 1 2 3 okay and then this other leg goes to the ground okay so this other leg goes to the ground pin okay just do this this is the ground pin or we can just make a rail here because it's easier as so so i just make a rail the top two and the last two like this hole is connected from here to here and the back one connected this negative and positive they're just used for guidance but wherever you place they'll just work so for now this will be ground and when i place it here this will be the ground rail yeah so let me just remove this ones yeah so once you've done that what have we not connected uh huh yeah all is well i think we can oh there's something lacking here had smaller wires okay don't seem to find it i'll just replace it when i find it so i'll use this for now this will be connected to the short leg for it to serve as ground so we can now connect it to a power source and see what we get so i'm using my laptop for power purposes and also uploading code so i'm supplying five volts using this Okay. Great. Ah, this should be here. Great. So it's lighting, just that it's so dim. The 13 is always high, so I can just use that for demonstration and we see we confirm that it works well. Okay. I placed 13 to be always high so that we just check the LED works properly. Okay, so it works well. From here, we now start connecting the potentiometer or our graphite. So the graphite will now go there. So I can just remove this. I think we've now seen it works well and take it to pin 3. Pin three. Okay. Why are you being stubborn? Take it to pin three. From there we take this to ground. One leg should be connected to ground. Doesn't matter which. And I told you the whole rail is ground. And then the other two. Either five volts or three, but I used this three volt one. So I'll just place it on the digital pins, okay, of the Arduino. Digital pins either take a 1 and or a 0. It's discrete. Analog pins are continuous in nature. Okay. Continuous, discrete, okay. And then we get our 
wiper. This we will connect to an analog pin because it's feeding analog data. Analog data is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, continue and continue. So that's analog and it starts from 1 to 1023. Okay, so that's our wiper. I'll just place it. This does not matter because it will be wiping. Okay, so yeah, and I think this circuit is complete. So we have continuous. Okay, and discrete. The digital pins, the ones that the one I used for, yeah, the digital pins in the Arduino are, um, this is digital and this is analog. Okay, this take zero, five. Okay, this is zero and this is five, and this is a range of values starting from one to. Mm -hmm. to 1023 okay and so whenever we get data from this analog analog pins are used for input and then we use the pulse width okay modulation or pwm Sorry, this is N, P, W, M. We use the PWM pins to output data from the analog pins, okay? So we get from this case, PWM pins are always, always have a tilde. I think it's a tilde. I think that's what it's called. They always have a tilde. So I'll just show you an example of PWM pin. I don't know if this board has PWM pins. This doesn't, so I'll just go back to my Arduino. And then you see those pins 11, 10, 9, 3, yeah, 5, 6. They have a tilde, and that's that means they are PWM pins. For my case, I used pin. Zero, one, two, three. I used pin three. Yeah, so basically that's the PWM pin outputs what was input using the analog pins. And in our case, analog zero. Okay, so you'll see that in the code. And yeah, I think now we can go to the code. Oh, wait, we can just go to the code and then see what happens when we vary resistance i already wrote this code i'm using arduino the software you can get it online for free and so this is the code that will be controlling our blinking or not blinking dimming led so i have i have declared here three variables or rather i have defined them one is LED, another V source, and VR. So VR, well, oh, VR is the vo is the analog input which is connected to A zero, and then V source is the uh, three volt for the graphite, which is the potentiometer, and LED three is our led okay the leg that goes to the to pin three okay so here we have serial dot begin 9600 if you don't know this i think i'll just create a different tutorial so just write it as it is pin mode led output we are defining led will be an output and also vsos an output okay then digital write this writes to digital pins so we're writing to digital pin 13 that it's high okay so when we are loading when we upload the code 
then digital pin 13 will always be high that's why i said while well, i was placing the led pin 13 is always high this is what i meant i declared it to be high and also led to be low okay now the loop this is the code that keeps running over and over again um reading whatever we feed into the machine in this case our potentiometer reading which is analog read remember we said uh, the potentiometer feeds uh, analog inputs so this is where we get it analog read vr which is the a0 potentiometer and then i said if the value is less than 24 okay i forgot to mention this but anyway you can just write it as it is or you can use here zero so i said that if val is less than 24 then val is equal to 24 meaning any value less than 24 let it be 24 and any value greater than 80 let it be 80 because i noticed that um mostly my values ranged from 24 to 80 these values i obtained from the serial monitor whenever i connected the whenever i connected the graphite or potentiometer alone without connecting anything else so when i wipe then it should mostly ranging 24 to 80 and that's why any other value that means it was just a messy messed up value not a real input as according to me so that's why i chose this range and then i mapped it out such that when you read this when it reads this value if it's 24 24 will be mapped to 1 80 to 255 and the rest in the middle can just be placed wherever okay so you can just I comment this because it does the same thing the greatest the highest amount of uh, voltage or yeah the vol the highest amount of voltage in the PWM pins and digital pins is 3 volts or 3.3 and therefore 3.3 divided by 80 okay so the value you get we want it to be in the range of 0 to 3.3 okay so that's why I used this okay so it's like you're converting the value you're getting over the total value 80 to this zero to three only yeah so i hope i make sense and lastly we then print it and write the value of the led ah the value of val to the led okay so that means if the value is zero then that means the led will be zero voltage and if zero voltage is supplied then that means the led brightness will be very low and if the value is 3, then the voltage supplied is at its maximum and therefore the LED will be bright. Yeah, so basically that's it for the program. Yeah. So I hope once you upload it, you upload it either here or, or here. Let's see. Is it here? Yeah. Or here or you use Control U. To upload once you upload the code yeah then you can wipe and see the different brightness levels of your LED so as you can see we can vary the resistance it increases brightness reduces it increases sorry I had to switch off the lights but yeah so Basically, the graphite acts as a resistor, and whenever we are moving from one end to another, we either increase or decrease the brightness. Yeah, so try it and see what you end up with. Lights back on, so now, so that you can see what I was doing. So, reducing, increasing brightness, reducing, increasing, reducing, increasing. Yeah, so that's basically what we're doing. So this acts as a potentiometer or a varying resistor, varied resistor, okay? And then this is just as a normal resistor, like fixed, 100 ohms fixed, okay? And so this prevents this from burning 
in the case that okay this current this current is probably a little bit more than this would take in actually it is more than this would take in this takes in 30 amperes and so this ensures that the current getting to this is 30 milliamperes sorry 30 milliamperes and this is just used to increase and decrease voltage and therefore when you increase the voltage then the uh what what is this oh when you increase the resistance okay when you increase the resistance then the bulb dims the led when you decrease the resistance it increases okay so basically that's it for today and so yeah have a good day try it and we will be creating more projects for you soon please share what you make and subscribe to this channel thank you